Hey y'all, it's Samantha. Welcome back to my channel and I am here to do a collective haul with you guys. But before we jump in, I first want to apologize with my snotty self over here, okay? <laughs> I don't know if it's allergies or if it's a cold. I don't know what's going on because I don't feel bad at all. I'm just really, really congested, okay? So y'all just forgive my nasally voice right now. And also, before I jump into this haul, um, I want to share a couple of cards that I received from some crafty friends. Um, now, this one is really late, but um, this one is a Valentine Day card from Kathy's Favorite Things. And she sent me this cute little love uh, card. And in the inside, she also included, which I just dropped in the floor. <laughs> She included these really cute, like, vintage-inspired little heart stickers. Like, how stinking cute. So, um, she just left me a little note that says, uh, Happy Valentine's Day, my friend. I hope it's as sweet as you. XO, Kathy. So, thank you so much, Kathy, for thinking of me. That was so sweet of you. And I apologize for the delay, but I did want to get on here and let you know I received your card, and I appreciate you so much. And then the next one um, comes from Susan Tootsie Tucker, and I'm sure you guys are all familiar with her. And she sent me this beautiful Easter card. Look how pretty this is. I absolutely love this. And um, in the inside, it says hippity, hippity, hop. Happity hoppity, I think is what, yeah, hippity happity hoppity Easter. And she just says, Hi, Samantha. Hope you and yours are doing well. Big hugs, Susan. So thank you so much, Susan, for that. You know, I love all of your creations. Um, she is so talented, y'all. If you are not familiar with Susan or Kathy, you guys make sure you head on over and um, give them some crafty love. And again, thank you so much, ladies. I appreciate you for thinking about me. And now let's jump into this collective haul. So I just have some goodies from a variety of places. And the first um, goodies I'll share is from Amazon. So I am participating in a uh, 2D fruity group swap. I think I had mentioned that before. And I just needed some items in my stash to really um, complete that little swap. So the first thing I picked up was this little die set. So it came with this little um, lemon, or it could be a lime. And then it also came with this little uh, slice of the little die. So those came together. Um, I am really happy with this die set. So it is um, an embroidery hoop little die set. But I really like it because of all of the fruits that came with it. So it came with a strawberry and a cherry. And as you can see, you're getting the strawberry topper, some leaves, a flower, and also um, the cherry stem. And then on this one, you're getting, again, a lemon or a lime. You're getting a slice, a half a slice, a bow, some leaves, and, of course, the embroidery hoop. So, I thought this was really cute. And it gives me a good little um, variety of fruits that I can work with. And then this one, I will take the die out along with the picture that came with it. So, this one, they're giving you three different examples. So, this is like a little dangle of lemons. Um, this one, someone created a tassel, and then this one is a little, um, like a little mason jar drink cup or whatever with a straw, and this is what the die set looks like. So here is the, um, the mug with some ice cubes and the straw. Again, you're getting some little, like little stems if you want to do the lemon cluster, um, you could make these lemons or limes and a half a slice and then a whole slice, more flowers, a little heart, and then some more leaves. So I thought this was a really cute die as well. And this is from, um, what is that? Global, Global Land? There's their little logo here. Um, I know they have their own website, but apparently they are also selling over on Amazon, which is really cool. Because I feel like sometimes when these companies are individual, but they sell on Amazon, you pay a little more for their prices on Amazon, but the shipping is much faster. 
And sometimes I would rather just pay a higher price than wait so long, you know, for the shipment. So anyways, there's that. And the last thing from Amazon is these little baseball card sleeves. Um, I actually was completely out of these and I thought about making some mini pocket letters. So I grabbed these and there are 36 to this pack. And I think these were like seven, eight bucks, kind of, kind of cheap. So there's that. Now moving on to Dollar General Top Shelf. I picked up these Alpha Little Charms. These were $3 a piece. And I'll pull them up here a little closer so you can see. And I thought these were really fun. So I grabbed those. Um, and let me just show you the rest of the Pop Shelf stuff. So I uh, picked up this uh, One Canoe 2. And this is the Golden Rod Paper Pad. Um, this is six by six, 36 pieces in here. Now these colors are, um, kind of dark, kind of makes me think of more of like a late summer into the fall kind of paper collection, but I grabbed it because it does have some fruit, um, items in here and I'll just hold it up for a second so you guys can see all of the papers and this was $3. And I did pick up the Posy Pop paper pad. I had shared these with you guys before, um, but I had picked those up and gifted them in a um, loaded spring caboodle box swap that I just participated in. And I didn't grab one for myself. So I went ahead and picked it up since they still had this and this was $3 as well. And then the last thing I picked up from, um, from the Pop Shelf is the EK Tools Decorative Scissors. So there are three in the pack. These were $5. And I actually found some of these decorative scissors at a thrift store a while back. And I thought, I'm never going to use those. So I got rid of them. But then I saw Christian um, doing some things on a live and she was doing some cut apart tickets out of a paper pad and she used one of the scallops um, stickers on the edge. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that is completely genius. <laughs> so this purchase was inspired by her and I was like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to get me some and I'm not going to give these away this time. Okay. <laughs> so there's that. And then, um, these kitchen towels came from Dollar General, just a standalone DG with no pop shelf in it. And these were only a dollar. Now they are a little thin, but they are absolutely adorable. And I picked up a couple in the lemon and I also, of course, had to pick them up in the strawberry. And I thought these would be really cute little gifts um, to gift with my 2D for D swap. So that's why I picked those up. So there is that. Um, I do have a couple of goodies from AliExpress, and it's these tiny, tiny little puffy word stickers, and I grabbed two of those. I also picked up this flower die set from Scrap Diva Designs. Um, here is all of Erica's information if you want to pause the screen and take a screenshot. Um, I'm sure you guys all know who Erica is. Um, this is like my second purchase from her, and this was totally inspired by Buzzing with Bee. Um, I saw one of her videos where she made flowers using this dye, and I absolutely loved the way that she did her flowers, and so I, ha I knew I had to have this. So there is that. And then the rest of the stuff is coming from the Dollar Tree, and y'all, I wanted to let you know, that I had one item that was on the top of my wish list. I absolutely found them, and I'm going to save the best for last. So y'all stick around to see what that item is. Um, but before we get to that, um, I'll share my other goodies. So I picked up two of these three-blade razors. This is by the brand Assured. And I have never used these razors before, so I don't know what type of quality they are. But look how pretty they are. Like, look at the floral detail on the handle. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to try these because they're just cute. Now, I only found the pink and the blue. Normally, Dollar Tree does things in threes or fours. So, I don't know if there are additional colors. But in my store, um, all they had was the pink and the blue. And I think these are so cute. And these would also be really cute if, you know... 
you wanted to do like a little care package or like a, a self-care package like for Mother's Day or something like that. Like how stinking cute are these? And the packaging is just perfect. So there are those. Um, I did pick up two of these little um, fruit picks. And I bought these to use for my home decor. And y'all, I am so happy with these. Like these look real to me. And the quality is really good for $1.25. Now they did have a couple other options, but I was only um, interested in the lemons. So that's all that I got. Um, I know Easter has passed, but I went shopping, um, over the weekend and I was on the hunt for these fruit Easter eggs. Y'all, I think these are the cutest things ever. And again, I picked these up for my Tutti Fruity group swap. I don't know if I will use these, but I wanted to just have them on hand just in case I did decide to use these for something. And I'm here to tell you, this was the only pack that I found out of $4 trees, y'all. So I'm really thankful and happy that I was able to find those because that was on my wish list as well. Um, and then we'll just keep on with the fruit theme. I found this beautiful reusable shopping bag. And y'all, I am really loving those shades of blue with yellow on lemons right now. Like, I don't know what it is, but that's just like my thing. And when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have that. Not that I needed another reusable shopping bag, okay? But I couldn't pass it up. And I'm going to tell you, these bags are like comparable to the ones that you would buy at like TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Home Goods, places like that. And these are a lot bigger than I've ever seen the Dollar Tree give us. So I'm really tickled with this one. Okay, so I think that, oh, nope, that's not all the fruit things. <laughs> one more. All right, so I found this in the Crafter Square section, and this is um, a little embroidery hip uh, hoop kit. Do I do embroidery? No. Will I complete this? I don't know. <laughs> but I thought it was just too cute to pass up. And if y'all have been here for a while, y'all know I'm obsessed with strawberries. Um, and I'm sorry, but this is just too cute. And look how pretty these colors are together. And it does have the instructions and stuff in there. And I don't know. I might give it a try. I might not be successful, but I want to try. Because look at it. It is just too cute. So there's that. Now we're done with the fruit. <laughs> and this I have not seen before. So this is new to me. And this is a felt flower kit. There are 17 pieces in here. And I love this. I love the colors. And on the back, it actually shows this little banner. Now, I'm assuming there is enough stuff in here to make this flower banner. I, I'm assuming. I don't know for sure. But look how stinking cute this is. I just love the color palette. Like, it's perfect. Um, they did have a couple other um, different colors and different flower types. But, of course, I was drawn to the pink, and that's the only one that I picked up. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed with those. Those are really cute. Okay, so now I get to show you guys what I am the most excited about, okay? And let me tell y'all, y'all already know I am obsessed with Dollar Tree. I've been shopping at this store for well over 20 years. It's my favorite, and you never know what you're going to find. It's the thrill of the hunt, and I, I don't know. I'm just obsessed with Dollar Tree. I always have been, but check this out, y'all. Oh, my gosh. This was my number one wish list item, and I found them in all four colors. And this is by Sash Sassy and Chic, and it is the mini um, beauty cases. So basically what this is for, it's a little suitcase to put your beauty blender in. Okay, I'm not using it for beauty blenders. I totally picked this up for crafty reasons. Um, I'm going to take one out and show you guys in a second. So I picked up black. I picked up the purple, and then I picked up the pink. Sorry for the glare. The lighting is so weird. And then I picked up the blue. Now, I've already opened the blue one, so I'll go ahead and take it out and show you guys. Oh, my gosh. Look at her. Look at how perfect she is. 
and it just opens here on the side and that's where you put your little blender in and then you close it back but oh my gosh y'all I let me tell y'all when I saw these my husband was with me and I was like <gasps> Oh my God. And he was like, what? And I'm over here like dancing around, doing a little happy dance. And he looked at me as if I was crazy. And that's okay because I am a little bit. But I was like, please go get me a buggy right now. Because I had my hands full of some other stuff, you know. And I was like, just, just get me a buggy. <laughs> so he goes and gets me a buggy. And I literally stand guard in front of these suitcases because I was going to get one of each. Okay. I was not going to let nobody else get there. Um, I'm just kidding. There was nobody around me, but, but in all honestly, I, honesty, I was kind of, kind of like blocking in case somebody did come up. But anyways, it's so silly to get so excited over something like that. But y'all, it just tickles me to death. It just tickles me to death when I go to the Dollar Tree and I find items on my wish list or I find all these cool new things. I'm just like a little kid. And listen, that is okay, all right? Because I know I'm not the only one that is like that when it comes to the Dollar Tree. So anyways, you guys, that is this little collective haul. I will be back with a couple more videos because I have been shopping a lot and I have a lot of things to share. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know what your favorite item out of this haul was. And I will catch you guys on the next video. All right. Bye, friends.